the oldest rocks in Britain. Found here in the Northwest Highlands of Scotland. Is that not mad? These rocks that I'm sitting on are part of the Lewis and Nice complex. Now in geology, when you call something a complex, it just means it has a complicated history, right? And there's a lot of controversy over that history. So these rocks that I'm currently sitting on have a very complicated, long history. They're up to three billion years old and show evidence in certain areas across the Northwest Highlands and the Outer Hebrides of partial melting. So these rocks have just a bit melted at one point, but why is that? How have they got like that? Well, I'm going to tell you. These are metamorphic rocks, they're high-grade metamorphic rocks. The reason we know that they're high-grade metamorphic rocks is because they're banded. That's what a gneiss is. A gneiss is a banded, high-grade metamorphic rock that just a bit melted at one point in geological time. Now, these rocks have underwent some history, by the way. They've been buried, pushed, squeezed, buckled, foliated and put at immense pressures and temperatures in the Earth's crust. Probably up to 60 kilometres deep within the Earth's crust and they're now at the surface here exposed in the Northwest Highlands. Is that not class? I think it's pretty class, right? So, why? What, what, what makes them high grade? Well, because they've been put under this immense pressure and temperature, that's what makes them high-grade metamorphic rocks. That's what metamorphism is. It's when things change due to pressures and temperatures. And that's what regional metamorphism is, right? And that's what these rocks are. They've been regionally metamorphosed to the point where they've just a bit melted. And then they've been brought back up to the surface through different processes. And I am sitting on them right now here the day at Clacktool Beach here in the Northwest Highlands. You can see there's a beautiful fold here, like in the rocks. It just shows you as an example, like what this stuff can end up looking like once it's been squeezed and pushed and folated. Then we've got the beautiful green colours of the sea next to it. 